Okay, good Tuesday morning, everybody. It's a smoky Tuesday morning, if you're here in Reno, with the fire. Uh, as always, let's keep those firefighters in our prayers, because uh, they're the ones out there doing the hard work. Okay. Anyway, our gospel today on this Feast of St. Benedict is from Matthew 9, verses 32 through 38, and it's a healing scene again. So Jesus is healing all these people. says so he's healing lots of people. And... At the very beginning, though, some Pharisees say, well, he drives out these demons because he is a demon. And then Jesus says, uh, you know, he goes on to say that he heals all these people. Then he talks about that, and he says, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. Ask the master of harvest to send more laborers. And I guess there's a couple of things in here that catches me. But the one, it's that use of the word, I guess, laborers. Uh, you know, we know what Jesus is talking about. You know, he's talking about people helping other people. That's the essence of it. Um, but the, I guess the challenge is that, I guess the word, the kind of the, uh, is the word of work. I mean, it's making this sound like this is an actual work. We interpret that this is work, and that's not what Jesus intends at all. Uh, you know, we view this as something that, we kind of have to do that's really not part of who we are, that it's a necessary task of being Catholic, Christian, to go out there and help these people. And it's not a task. Uh, this is not a work. This is really reflective. It ought to reflect. I hope it reflects. I wish it reflect. wish it reflect. Just the, the general nature of who we are. Jesus didn't do this because he had to. This wasn't his little task assigned by the Father. This was something he did because he wanted to do this. And that's what I'm trying to get at. I want this to be something that I do. You know, I don't, I'm not a priest in it, you know, I'm not a priest because I'm in it for the money or the fame or, or all the perks. You know, something else is operative. And, and I'm 15 years into this and, you know, it's still growing. There's this, this want you know, this one to reach out, this one to help people. And it's not because I'm a priest. I think the priest becomes the avenue for it. But this is something for all of us. Uh, you know, you can think like, you know, being a parent. A parent has all these little tasks that we have to do. But a heart, a parent comes from being the heart. The tasks are just what we, how we name it. But, it, you know, raising kids... Good parents, it comes from the heart. It's the same way for us as Catholics, as Christians, as baptized. What Jesus is asking, he's not asking for more workers in the, in the, uh, in, out there in the fields. He's asking that our hearts be changed, that our hearts be into this, that we all extend some kindness. I see the contrast in here is with those uh, Pharisees who say, well, clearly their hearts on it because they accuse of Jesus of being a demon themselves. So... I think all of us, and I, you know, I always have to be aware of my, where is my heart in this? Like, I have my bad moments when I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to work. Uh, I don't want to do this. But what makes it worthwhile is when that heart has changed, when I want to do this. When, when I see people, their faces just change just because of a momentary act of kindness. It, it's so well worth it. So I guess it's then the challenge is, again, where in my heart, where are our hearts in this? Is being Catholic just a task that we do, or is it really a way of life? Okay, okay guys, thanks, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.